Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 606. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Reset link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 604 to 607. Hey, in this trick, we want to go back to uh, Magic Trick 398. Here's the um, solution to that. Here's our problem back in this video. There are duplicates like ABC in list one. So ABC, ABC. So there's duplicates. And our goal is to look up all ABC, for example, all the ABCs and the cities. So ABC, oh, has New York City. Company ABC has Chicago. So our goal is to do two things. We have duplicates, which is one problem. And we have two items to look up. If we look up this and this, we need to go over to this table, find ABC and New York, and return this number to that cell right there. So that's the setup. Now in 398 what we did is we said no problem. If you have two lookup values you can just add an extra column and concatenate. Then over here we used VLOOKUP. We joined these two items here. As soon as you join them using the ampersand you get a single item and then we looked it up in this table here with this added first column. Then the fact that some cities didn't match we absolutely did not want to return anything so we then we wrapped the VLOOKUP in IF ERROR and uh, if it became an error which means NA it returned a blank. If you were in early versions when you download this there was a an alternative formula here that used the if and is error and VLOOKUP twice. Now in this video we don't want to do that, we want to do something slightly different. And the goal here is to not add this extra column. Because remember, we're looking up two items. Okay? We don't want to add an extra column. So watch this. We're going to use an index and match. I'm going to say, hey, index. Now, index needs uh, the lookup array. Now, what are we returning in this column? We're looking up our ID. So I'm just going to highlight this ID. Control, right. Control shift down arrow on F4. I guess I don't really need to control shift down arrow, it's not that big. But nevertheless, those array means hey, these are the items we're going to return to the cell. Comma. Now it needs a row number. So for example, ABC New York needs number one. If it was FRE Seattle, it needs a number one, two, three, whatever that is, uh, eight or nine. So how in the world are we going to get that? row number. We're going to use the match. That's what match does. Its specialty is delivering the ordinal position. Ah, but wait a second. We're back to our old original problem. What in the world are we going to do about duplicates? ABC in New York. No problem. I'm going to do ABC and I'm going to do ampersand this. I'm not going to put a dash like the, the last time because uh, this item right here is unique enough as it is without the dash. If I highlight and hit F9, you can see it's ABCNY. Control Z. That's the lookup value for match. Now, comma, what in the world is the lookup array? We don't have a single column. That's what match is looking for. No problem. We do the same trick. Highlight that column, F4, ampersand, and this other column. F4 to lock in all directions. Now, if we highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can see, sure enough, in this array, we have ABC New York, CBB, LAA. They have joined. And notice, in array syntax, semicolon means go to the next row. So this is only semicolon, col semicolons, which means it's only a single column, which is what match needs for lookup array. Control Z. And then we do comma zero for exact match, close parentheses on the match, close parentheses on the index. I'm actually going to copy this, control C. But now, if I hit enter, I get a value error because what did we do? When we join these two ranges, we created an array. So you have to use control shift and enter. Now I'm going to double click and send it down. Sure enough, just like in the last video, we get our NA. Remember, we have two problems here. We're joining, we have a double, v, a 
a double lookup value and we have duplicates. We our goal here is just to return the items for the companies uh, uh, we're dealing with. All the other ones have to be blank. So I'm going to hit F2, and in 2007 or 10, you use if error. Huge improvement. If you don't have 2007, you should go out and get 2010 in about um, the three weeks. Here it'll be available to all of us regular people. The value right there is all you need. You don't have to, like in earlier versions, list this twice. You come to the end, you say, if that comes out to be an error, what do we want? And you put whatever here. Actually, NA might be fine for some people, but if you don't want all the NA shown, you use whatever. I'm going to use double quote, double quote for blank, uh, close parentheses. Now, I made a mistake here. Remember, we entered this Control Shift Enter into a single cell and copied it down. If I enter this into all the cells, I am um, I will return only the first item. So I actually am going to copy this Control C, hit Escape. It would have returned one, seven, three, four in all these cells if I'd done that. So I'm going to um, delete. F2 to put in edit mode, control V, and now control shift enter, and now I double click and send it down. Now in earlier versions, what do you have to do? Equals if is error or NA if you wanted, but it is error covers all the errors. Control V, so look, I have to have the if say, is it an error? And I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, I actually don't want all this junk. I want just that, because that's the, the guts of the formula. So I'm going to copy that again. Now, you say is error. That's the logical test, comma, if it's an error, what do we want? Meaning the va this logical test comes out true, double quote, comma, if it's false, which means it's not an error, control. V for paste. Notice I had to list it twice. It's going to calculate through that twice, uh, which is inefficient compared to if error. Control Shift Enter, and then copy it down. All right. So uh, the big trick here was that uh, concatenating inside of match uh, when we uh, in the lookup uh, area to create a single column and then concatenate and concatenate in the beginning of course for the matched uh, lookup value all right we'll see you next trick